Hey, what's up, yo? Back in my laboratory here. My my kitchen, you know where we be at. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to bring up, uh, I got the 25 Cal HPSS. This is the semi-auto one. And I wanted to swap out the air tank because I got this carbon fiber one. So, and I got the uh, bottle adapter for it. So I was just gonna try to knock this out real quick. Hopefully we can just get this done as quick as possible. Hopefully I can uh, control my yapping as much as I can, but let me just let me just uh, release the air out of this thing, and then um, once this thing's empty, we can just dive right in. So let me just what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna loosen this screw right here. So that's that, and right here that's the one I'm loosening. So. So I'm just gonna let that drain and I'll be back. All right, so that's that. The air is out. Mm -hmm. No more air in here and we could just unscrew that now. And then there, uh, we have that white washer. Here it is. So there's the bottle. And then again, we're gonna replace it with this. Alright. So let's get this print. And I just grabbed the that O-ring so I could grease this one up. do the two O-rings on here. Mm -hmm. And I grab this just so we can get in there and take it up. Probably don't need to, but better safe than sorry. Right. So that's that. That's there. 
There it is. Now let's get this lined up. Little notch on the bottom for that grub screw. Right there. So you know that it faces the bottom. see that little notch just gotta put the gauge in <clears throat> Where did I put that? so we got this I think I dropped the other one too when I did this exact same thing. Thing took a, a little fall. Alright, so there's that. I put a little grease on the threads. I don't know if it makes a difference. I I, I, I used that plumber's tape before, but that shit was that was actually a pain in the ass. You know, so I, I haven't fucked with that since. If it's already in there, so be it, but alright, let's see. So now I'm just going to Move it right in there. pressure just barely just and it's not moving so I don't want to over tighten it but there it is so we got it on here let's just this barrel cap whatever this is this keeps coming loose on me too so but boom so oh, I don't cut my air bottle out here so hold on one second. so that's that so Got the bottle on. Now we just gotta fill it and see if it holds air. So I'll be right back. All right, so got the bottle, new fill probe. That's that eight millimeter one that I, I was saying we needed. Let's see if it uh, holds air. I'm always nervous about this because I'm afraid that the air is gonna whip this cord out, fuck me up. So let, let's see what happens. We have a leak from So that's not tightened on enough. Let's see if we can stop it. So now that's really tight, so I think I'm going to replace that washer. Let's get this out the way. Let me get another washer. Let's 
Let's see what's up with this. Now remember, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've only done this once, so I am winging this shit right now. So. I wonder if I could put two of these in here. I just don't know if, well, we're about to find out, ain't we? <clears throat> Actually, yes. Yeah. I just don't know if the gauge will have enough thread on it. About to find out though. Hacking air gun 101. Yeah, that was tight right away. I don't I don't think I'll be able to fill it either if I do two. I don't think the uh, fill probe will go all the way in. Uh, we'll find out. Again, and I'm wondering if the I don't know. I'm just guessing right now. I don't, let's see if this will uh, seat in there right. It's the pot that makes me nervous when it snap out. I think it's filling. I think we're in business. There is a little leak. I could hear something. But right now, we're at about, what, 60? We're at 6 MPA. So, let's see if we can add a little more air into here. Put a little O-ring grease on. This will be good though if this holds the air. You know, having a nice full fill. You know, six, seven mags out of a fill. This pop makes me nervous. Let's go. And my tank's low too. I might only be able to get this up to maybe 15 in between 15 and 20 MPA at the max. If I get over 20, I'll be surprised because I refilled the 30 cal and I think I was able to get up to like 22, I think 22 MPA. <clears throat> so right now I got the bottle wide open. Here it is. I think we hit 20 MPA. So let's close this up. Right, let's see. Ooh, bottle's hot. <laughs> so yeah, we're at 20, 21 MPA right now. Nope, it'll, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see it here. The glare from the light might be too much. There you go, something like that. But 
Yeah, it is nice and warm, so this will probably go down. But, hey, we got it on there. I don't hear anything. I mean, like I said, the gauge is kind of high because I added that second one, but it seems to be holding right now. So, here we go. We got it on. It's holding there. We're at 20 MPA, so we should probably at least be able to get, I mean, 20 MPA before was what, one, two mags? So we should be able to get at least four or five mags out of this thing, I think. You know, get at least some, uh, some numbers. And like I said, I filled the 30 cal as high as I can get it. I think that's at 22. So hopefully I'm, I'm going to try to get to the um, that scuba shop up in uh, New Hampshire, Atkinson, New Hampshire. That, uh, what's it called? Discover Diving. I'll try to get back up there, get this filled tomorrow. My, uh, my big bottle filled tomorrow. Top these back off, bring this up to 25, 30 cal up to 28, 29 if I can. And, um, and we'll just go from there. So... Here it is, 25 cal, <clears throat> HPSS, got the carbon fiber bottle on, everything is good so far, seems to be holding there, I think we're still at 20, 20 in between 20, 21 MPA, so we're going to see how this does, maybe this weekend, hopefully uh, sometime next week, one of the two, I want to get out there and test this thing out, so... I think that's it for today. I'm just going to wrap this shit up and um, I'll get at y'all again soon. So, deuces.